More tributes coming in from both sides of the aisle. Stacey Abrams tweeting, U.S. Senator Johnny Isaacson served the whole of Georgia with attention and fairness. With every interaction, my respect for him grew and never wavered. Though we had different ideologies, I was honored to call him friend. God's peace to his family, loved ones, and friends. While former Speaker of the U.S. House Representatives Newt Gingrich tweeting Senator Isaac, uh, Johnny Isaacson passing marks the end of an era. Johnny was a founder of the modern Georgia GOP. His years of patient, steady work with an always positive attitude, a smile for everyone, and a balanced approach to life, politics, and government made Georgia a better place. Now, Senator Isaacson spent his career advocating for people of Georgia with, 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 real, with a real focus in Cobb County. That's where he started his political career and where he kept his office until he retired. 11 Alive's Caitlin Ross reports, while his hometown was special to him, it was the people in it that were very special to him. She joins us live now outside the state capitol. Caitlin. Exactly, Ron. Well, the late Senator Isaacson was here for 20 years. He'll be remembered for all of the work he did at the Gold Dome. It's really the connections he made outside of it that people are remembering tonight. He was a uh, fabulous gentleman, wonderful statesman. People Johnny Isaacson represented respected him and always remembered their encounters with him. I've known Senator Isaacson for many, many years. Cobb Commissioner Joanne Burrell says the more she got to know the late senator, the more she respected him. What really stands out most in my mind, his ability to bring people together common sense approach and his fairness and honesty. Just last week, she says the Republican women of Cobb held a luncheon in his honor and donated to the Isaacson Initiative that raises money for Parkinson's research. Years prior, she was there when the state DOT named a bridge for him. It was just great that we could honor him. That initiative had bipartisan support, something Isaacson was known for building. Both Republicans and Democrats appreciated his work. He made a lot of great relationships on both sides of the aisle. So while I personally did not have the opportunity to meet with him, I certainly had a lot of chances to hear about um, what a statesman he was and um, just the wonderful contributions he had to the community. Cobb Commissioner Jerrica Richardson says Isaacson set the tone for how to work across the aisle. That's how he worked and that's how he got a lot of um, things accomplished by working together. Outside of politics, they say they'll miss their friend. It's sad news. I'm glad I was able to meet with him and glad he was my senator. He'll be missed for sure. In a statement tonight, the governor's office says they're still figuring out how they'll honor the late senator here at the Gold Dome and across the state. Ron? Caitlin, thanks a lot for the update there from the state capitol. By the way, another sign of Isaacson's drive to be a unifying politician and force for Georgia. He would often show up year after year at Ebenezer Baptist Church to celebrate the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday with a crowd that mostly leaned to the left. Tonight, Dr. Bernays King and the King Center releasing a statement on Isaacson's passing saying in part that he showed the utmost respect to those he encountered despite race, religion, or party line. It went on to say then call Isaacson a bridge builder in the Senate and one who understood the importance of leading with bipartisanship. You can read the full statement on our website, 11alive.com.